Hi guys, uh, Tim here. Uh, this is the video number two of the two part uh, video series uh, in which I show you how to test um, Binance robots. So uh, in this video, uh, it's a part two. So I'm going to show you how to send orders from MT5 platform to Binance Exchange. So uh, first of all, the, the basic idea um, of sending MT5 uh, orders from MT5 platform to Binance Exchange is to use a uh, Python. Um, Python is uh, essentially is a uh, programming language platform, a uh, very popular uh, platform for general purpose um, applications. So basically, we're going to send orders to Binance Exchange uh, through Python, right? So what you got to do? So first of all, you got to do. Uh, you got to install uh, a couple of tools. The f the first thing is um, to open a Binance uh, testnet account. So uh, a testnet uh, account uh, is essentially it's just a demo account, right? So when when uh, when you first test uh, sending orders, uh, you you want to test on demo account first. So um, what you're going to do, you go to this um, website, testnet.binancefuture.com uh, to open a Binance Testnet account. So you go to this uh, website, right, and it's you uh, basically just register uh, accounts with the Binance Exchange. Now, uh, having done that, so you're going to install MT5 platform. You go to this website to download MT5 uh, instance and install it. Yeah, all right. So I, we just open another uh, internet browser and you put in the uh, MT5 platforms. Okay, this, this is where you actually you download uh, MT5 and install in your computer. Right, and you need to install Python too. You go to this website, and you just follow instructions on this website to install Python. We open another internet browser, tap right, and just uh, put in the internet address. All right. So this, this is the website uh, where you uh, download the Python. So uh, I recommend to install Python version 3.7.3. So it's essentially you can install uh, Python versions, uh, you know, uh, newer than 3.7.3. Uh, .3. uh, so 3.7.3. Uh, on three just around here and you got to look around for uh, correct versions okay all right so uh, now uh, the next thing you got to do is to install a CCXD library um, you go to this website okay so open the internet uh, tab here All right, so you go to this website and you got to follow instructions to install CCXD uh, library. So what, what CCXD libraries uh, does is actually uh, it provides you know, a, a set of functions to, to access to Binance Exchange, right? So uh, CCXD libraries uh, it's uh, basically sitting on top of the Python platform. Right, now, uh, next thing you got to do is to copy these files. So, so, so these files actually um, are, are booked below uh, the video. You, you can download uh, these files and put it uh, into your MT5 uh, folders. You go to this uh, MT5 folder and you book this file. So you got three files here, right? Um, you're going to 
your empty file, you go to file, you go to data, open data folder, right, yeah, it, it takes for a while, uh, you go to MQL file, you go to files, right, and you book uh, these three files, so the docbox, docpyc, and api's uh, docsv right and now um api docsv is actually the file where you uh, put your binance account api keys and secrets all right so let's let's uh, open this file and what you can see yeah it's, it takes for a while to so, um, all right, you just open this file. Right, so uh, so what you're going to do with this file is that actually um, the first line is actually the ABI key from your Testnex uh, Binance account. And the second line is your ABI uh, key, uh, so ABI secrets. All right, you, you open this here, you save the file, right? All right, so uh, have, an, have we installed all the tools that we need for testing? Uh, now, what you're going to do, uh, you, you're going to check uh, your installation, so make sure that uh, everything is. Uh, is actually installed uh, properly. So the first thing you got to check is uh, to check uh, whether your um, your Python is installed correctly. So go to your empty file platform. Okay, um, open. Go to open data folder. Right, and you go to uh, MQ5 you go to fire, all right, to make sure everything is um, put in directly here. And uh, you go to under your com computer, you got to open a post uh, command, right? You type in uh, command prompt, right? Just open it. Alright, so I go back to uh, your MT5 folder, this folder, so you go to copy uh, the, uh, the folder, right, and under command prompt, you go to copy this one, first of all, you're going to type in CD, so what it does, it go uh, back to the root directory, okay, so you go to CD, change directory, and you paste uh, you know empty file folder here press enter right now we are in your empty file folder and next thing you got to do you got to type in python right and dash dash versions press enter yeah it, it takes for a while and if you can see by item 3.7.3 .3 or whatever uh, the later uh, Python version installed you should see this one so what what it really means is uh, your Python is installed properly all right so so far so good just close it all right so uh, so the last part is uh, more interesting we're going to run uh, test sending orders from MT5 platform to Binance Exchange. So uh, open your MT5 platform, all right, and just open uh, any charge. In this case, I I open uh, Euro USD, all right. Now um, you remember you got to um, you got to download 
the Antify Crypto Jacks Manager and Antify Binance Bar, uh, Testnet, okay, and put it into your MT5 uh, Expert Advisors folder. So uh, you go to File, you go to Open Data Folder. Right, you go to MQL5, you go to Experts. All right, so make sure that you put uh, MT5 Crypto Jacks Manager and MT5 Binance Pot Testnet in here. So you can download um, MT5 Crypto Jacks Manager uh, in my previous, um, in, in one of my previous uh, videos. Okay, you put it in here. So uh, yeah, everything is uh, so far so good. All right. Now um, go back to your MT5. So what you're going to do, you're going to uh, open uh, a crypto chart from Binance. Uh, you click on the MT5 crypto chart manager here. All right, just click OK. All right, now what you're going to go to, to just uh, typing Binance, it's a Binance exchange, right? And ticker, um, actually we want to test uh, sending orders from Bitcoin. So you type in BTC, USDT, from date, I want to download um, historical bars from 2021. January 1st, right click open charts. All right, so here we are. The, uh, the BTC USDT charts is already opened. Uh, I recommend to, to leave it at empty one, empty, sorry, um, one minute time frame, okay, for faster testing. Right. So what you're going to do, we're going to uh, upload, so we want to uh, load uh, MT5 Binance Box Testnet uh, E8 on the chart. So double click here, all right. And you got to click this tick, right? Go to input. Now, uh, so under the input, we have several uh, options. Now at that time, at that time, actually, we have several options here at Spot uh, to test a Spot uh, account, cross account, isolated test next future view future. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send uh, orders from MT5 to Binance uh, Exchange uh, actually to your test next future account, uh, which is uh, essentially. Uh, a Binance uh, demo account, right? I want to select this one. So enable live test. Yes. Yeah, you got to turn this on, right? Um, back test. So this forgets about the rest, right? All right. So you got to make sure you tick this one, then uh, click OK. Right, and so. Uh, so what uh, you first see is uh, actually you see a command prompt window box up. So what it does is actually it tries to initialize uh, things. Um, it, it tries to um, initialize uh, connection to the Binance, your test next uh, Binance account, right? So you got to wait for a while. Yeah, it, it, it takes a while. Right. So it's, uh, I think it's done. Right. Uh, now, so, uh, so I suppose that, so we just go this one. So I don't want you to, to get confused. All right, so I suppose that you already opened 
you already open your test next uh, Binance account. So here, so you look at the button uh, of your account and click on positions, right? So, uh, all right. So in, in this test is actually we go to what we're going to test is actually so up uh, a signal a buy signal generated uh, from the robot right uh, the, the AI the robot will send the order to your test next Binance account so what you can see is here this is actually MT5 uh, buy signal and the robot actually sends uh, the buy signal to your testnet Binance account. So you see it's the um, an, uh, order already open here, right? Now for, for the purpose of testing, uh, this open trade, this buy trade is actually uh, going to be close two bars away yeah, in the future. So uh, what you can see here on this buy uh, signal, okay, uh, a buy order already opens in your Binance account, right? You got to wait, so I think it's going to close. Yep, okay, right? So, as you can see here, the, the open order is already closed. Now, we wait for the next signal. So very simple for, for the purpose of testing, um, I just want to make, you know, if the last bar is an up bar, so a buy signal uh, is trigger, is generated. So if the last bar is a down bar, a sell signal is uh, triggered. So let's, let's wait for the next uh, signal. So currently uh, we are in this bar. So wait for this bar to finish. If this bar is actually up, right, a buy uh, signal will be uh, generated. Otherwise, a sell signal is trigger. Let's let's wait. All right, a buy signal should be generated here, right? As you can see, uh, the communication with the Binance exchange, you see a buy signal generated here because the last bar actually uh, finished. Uh, up right so you got to wait for the next uh, two bars in the future uh, for this open trace to be closed right you got to wait for about two minutes because we have one minute time frame here right so uh, now, why waiting for this uh, open trace is to be closed? Now, uh, essentially, this uh, this robot is allow you to customize your strategies, whatever your strategies you can use MT5 platform and many indicators and in EA uh, available commercially as well as free, and you can test your strategy. Having test your strategies and make, make sure it's uh, working and general profits, uh, then you can run uh, your strategy on MT5 and send orders uh, to your Binance account accordingly. Right, we, we got to wait for this uh, current bar to finish and uh, upon to the, uh, the second bar, uh, this open tray will be closed. Just wait. All right. Right, uh, okay, so this open trade closed. So we say uh, communication with the Binance exchange here, right? It's done. So the, the open trade was closed, right? So wait, waiting for the next bar. So essentially, I want you uh, to see uh, a sell trade. So, so far, we got two buy trades already. So we want to see uh, a sell trade. 
uh, just just write uh, for few minutes and then if this column bars uh, is closed downwards a sales strike would be triggered so I, I hope uh, this bar is going to be uh, closed downwards so let's let's wait for this bar to finish right okay all right so i said i should be triggered here right okay what you can see here you can see here's um our set right is opened right you got to wait for uh two bars okay uh, then this open tray will be closed now the the purpose of um sending orders from MT5 to Binance uh, Exchange account uh, is actually uh, MT5, you know, has been around for about 10 years and many tools and EIs uh, indicators, you know, already uh, developed there. So tons, tons of tools, you know, EIs uh, indicators already there. So you, you can you can leverage, uh, you know, on those things to rapidly uh, develop your strategies right right you got to wait for, for this uh, bar to finish then this cell uh, tray will be closed so this uh, this video actually we uh, we test um, you know uh, test next test next uh, Binance uh, future account now in the following videos um, I will be showing you how to test uh, different types of trading like box uh, account uh, margin account right uh, we have uh, crossed accounts isolated etc all kinds of you know uh, trading accounts that are offered by Binance Exchange right so uh, this bar is going to be finished soon let's see so uh, this this trail show is going to be closed so watch this one going to be closed yeah close all right so uh so so far we already seen you know uh, buy try and sell trades right so what we're going to do so i would say it's, uh yeah so I got to remove this one, right? Okay. Now what we're going to test is actually um, we want to now um, last time actually we test um, live test right um, the auto test right. Now what we're going to do now we want to test that manual trading, uh, which means you, you can place orders manually right let's see so you select manual and click ok right so you got to wait for um, initializations communication with uh, Binance exchange so when you select a uh, manual so this is what you can see the um, the trading panel right so you can send orders uh, to Binance exchange accounts uh, manually so this uh, panel actually looks like exactly what you see on your Binance account. So take a look at your Binance account here. Okay, it looks very similar. So instead of you, uh, you can place orders on Binance account, you can uh, do it similarly on your MT5 platform. Right, now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a buy order manually. So let's say I, you can select here, you can select uh, limits, markets. So I want to select market uh, first, right? I want to place uh, 50 USD. You type in 50 USD, right? And you cl click in here. So 50 USD is equivalent to a 0 
0.001 BTC, right? And you can sec, uh, select the um, the good to cancel options. So let's click buy, right? And you would see a buy trace is placed here. You can see, okay? Right. Now, uh, so if you I want to close this trace, uh, what I can do simply uh, I apply a sale order. So to click sell here, all right. And similarly, I want to sell fifty USD. Uh, USDT actually is equivalent to zero point zero zero one bitcoin. All right. So let's sell. And pay attention here. So this this uh, buy trade order is closed, right? So you can play around. You can play around with uh, different types of uh, trading limits, market stop limits. All right. I think uh, this is all for this video. Now in the following videos, I'll be showing you how to test uh, sending orders. Uh, from MT5 to uh, Binance uh, Exchange, uh, different all kinds of you know um, trading uh, offered by Binance Exchange, uh, like margin trading, loans, uh, futures trading, uh, etc. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, bye for now.